Hello everyone, welcome to Penta's channel again. I'm here with Christina. Hello. And we are going to present you our August summer novelties, which will be the 3D fabric paint, Glow in the Dark, which we have in five colors. We are going to present it, them to you soon. And the felt glue. So these are the two novelties. We are going to present you in a minute. Just please give us some seconds because we are going to set up the camera so that you will see it from a close up. And then we will start the presentation in a second. So. Okay, so I hope you see our table nicely and we are going to start with the 3d fabric paint which glows in the dark so first of all let us show you a couple of samples that we already created so this is a nice bag with a boom on it so you see that we painted the the text and the pattern with our regular fabric paint, so Pantat's regular fabric paint. And we highlighted the edges and the contours of the boom with this 3D fabric paint, which glows in the dark. Also, here's another nice bag where you can see that there's a pattern fabric on the upper left side and on the bottom right side. And some parts of these patterns were highlighted with, with the 3D fabric paint that glows in the dark. And also we have two colors, the pale green and the pale blue, which basically dries translucent, let's say. So with the help of that, you can, you can even emphasize those parts that are not going to get any color, but in the dark, they are going to glow. So. Also, we have a nice small little bag here. The base is made with a fabric decoupage. So these ice creams are rice papers, basically. And we highlighted the contours of the ice cream and, and the lines of the cone with the 3D fabric paint. Also at the background, you can see some dots. And here we have a nice little door decoration uh, on which you can see the curtains were made with the help of a tool fabric and the material I mean the fabric paint is so thick that it is not going to leak through even on a fabric which has like a, a small little holes in it like this tool fabric also we have a nice little jar here that has uh, a denim fabric around it and we added some dots with the with the yellow 3d glow in the dark fabric paint and you can see these half spheres are are very very nice and they keep its shape and here we have a nice little slippers it says left and right so that even in the dark you will find them and you are not, not going to mix up which which goes to which food also we have a t-shirt here so the text says glow and we are going to present this how to make this type of lettering for you soon so let's get started so first we have a printed text, so it's just a regular printed text with black, it says glow. And we just simply put it underneath our fabric and you, you can see that the letters, you can see through the letters. So you don't have to do anything else, just follow these lines. And we are going to apply dots. At the bottom, we will have the dots more densely, while as we go upwards, 
we will have them a little bit rarely and we will apply even some smaller dots at the top. We are going to use two colors. The one which, are, which we are using at the moment is the pink and we will add soon the yellow glow in the dark 3D fabric paint. As you can see, it is really very easy to apply and you can move very, very fast. And now we fill some gaps with the yellow. Make sure that the dots do not touch each other is the best. So then they are not going to spread too much and they are not going to blend either and we apply the same technique so at the bottom we add more of the dots and we add bigger dots while as we go upwards we apply smaller dots And that's it. So as you can see, you can make such a decoration in minutes. It's really easy. And at the same time, it's really very attractive. And of course, it's going to glow in the dark at the end. On our next letter, we are going to show you the same technique but applying it from the inverse of the letters basically so now we are not filling out the letters but we are applying the dots around the edges the technique will be the same so at the edges we uh, we, we put bigger dots and more densely And as we move outwards, the dots will become smaller. So these are the two ways you can highlight the letters. We apply the same technique on the slippers that we presented you previously. So the left and the right was created with the same technique. And also the, the glow t-shirt that we also showed you previously. So these were made with these two techniques. And if you do not have any questions, then we are going to move on and present you the felt glue. Please feel free at any time to, to ask from us. But in the meantime, we go forward, we move on with the felt glue. So the felt glue, as its name says, it's perfect for gluing felt to felt, but it's also good for more dense and thicker fabrics like the denim, for example. On this little notebook, we applied the denim and we also glued this little pocket on the top of it, again with the felt glue. And inside there's a layer of black felt also glued with the felt glue. And this one is also covered with a denim fabric and we added a nice little felt figurine that you can buy as it is. So it's a ready-made felt figurine, but of course you can also create your own felt figures, just like for example, 
in this pen holder that there's a touch hound and in the middle that we just simply cut out from a felt sheet and around it there are nice little colorful felt dots again both of them glued with the felt glue and in the middle of the felt dots we added just a little dot of the of the 3D decor pen, sorry, yes. And there's a nice little chest. And on the top of the chest, there are denim roses, which we also glued with the help of the felt glue. And inside, you can see that it is covered with fabric as well. So the base is a cardboard that were covered with just a regular fabric. And for that we again use the felt glue and then we glued everything into the box so we created this nice little padding inside. We also have a nice pillowcase here. So these are flowers made out of buttons, so pre-cut felt figurine buttons. And we also used the 3D fabric paint which glows in the dark to add the stems and the leaves. And here is another one. You can see that we created this pocket uh, with, the, with just a regular fabric. So it's a pre-printed fabric and we glued the sides to the back. And also there are, there are uh, again adding some bubbles uh, which says my bag and my rules. These are made of felt and they were two felt layers with glued together So a white one and the black one and on the top of it There's again the 3d fabric paint that glows in the dark for the writing Here's another one. That's a That's a pillow that we are trying to fit into the camera. So it says all in with four cards around them and these are also made of felt and they were glued on the pillowcase again with the felt glue and we are going to show you how to make these felt cards that you have just seen on this pillow So first you basically just need a white felt sheet from which we just cut the base of the card and then we use the pre-cut symbols of the French card, in this case a spade, to glue into the center. You will see that the glue is very dense, very thick. And we just add them around the edges in the first step. And with the help of a brush, we are going to spread the glue. Always check how much the fabric soaks up from the glue. Because it depends fabric by fabric how much it will soak up especially in case of the felt which is quite thick and dense the fabric itself you might need another layer of the glue so and especially if you uh, glue felt to felt this is the case so you push it down firmly and if you feel that the fabric soak up too much of the glue then we just add another layer of it in case, for example, of the denim fabric, usually just one layer is absolutely enough. But in case you glue felt to felt, and especially this kind of quite dense felt to felt, you usually need two layers to make sure that it's, it's firmly stick to the surface. You just need to wait a little bit until the glue sets and then just push it down firmly onto the card base.
and to create the card pattern we are going to draw the ace around it so we will add a letter a with a universal contour liner and with the black color And then we will also go around the edges to mark the edges of the card. In case of the fibers of the felt peaks out, then just make sure to push them down a little bit with the help of the tip of the contour liner. So it will sit nicely on your felt and not just on the top of the fibers of the felt. And then we put this aside to let it dry. And in the meantime, we are going to continue to show you how to make the lettering for the all in that you have seen on the pillow. So you need your letter pre-cut just simply from a paper. You draw around just simply with a pen or a pencil or something that you can see on your fabric, on your felt sheet. And then we just cut it out. And to emphasize this letter, this I, we'll make it a white background. So first we are going to glue them together. So glue your letter onto the white base, which is a felt, regular white felt sheet. So first we add the glue and then with the help of a brush you just simply spread it. Again we need to check how much of the glue the fabric is going to soak up. So we need to check if it's fixed properly or we need to add another layer. But if we do not need another layer then we just simply leave a nice little edge of the white and cut around. And we have it. So we have the in of the all in. And now we just need to finish our project so we will add these two letters underneath the all near the cards. And again, we will do it the same way as previously. So we just simply add the glue, the backside of our patterns and the letters. So we go basically around the edges with the glue and spread it 
with the help of a brush if needed. And one important thing, so when you are gluing on top of a fabric layer, make sure that you put something inside. In this case, we put it in a protective foil. So put something into your pillowcase so that the glue and any other material will not leak through the fabric. So you're not going to glue together the front side and the back side. And we do the same with the I and the N. So you add this nice dense thick glue, which almost has like a gel consistency. Spread it with a brush and just push it down firmly. It's really easy and quick. You can also wash your projects even in a washing machine, but make sure to leave it to dry at least for one week without touching it. Or another option that you can iron it from the back side. So fix it with ironing from the rear side using a cotton grade. But either way, make sure that your fabric can be washed because for example, in the case of felts, usually they shrink if you want to wash them. So in this case, you need to wash them by hand. But in case of other dense fabrics and for example, the denim, you can absolutely wash it in a washing machine. And we are done. All in. And we are going to launch soon some additional videos for you to show both of these products. So from tomorrow and after tomorrow, check out our Facebook page again and you will see our demonstration videos. And now let's continue with the nice skull fabric. So that's a, so we pre-painted a skull pattern. And as you can see, we already highlighted certain parts of it. And for, for the pattern itself, we used the regular fabric paints. So here you can see the white and the mint colors. And we are going to show you how to add some more details to this pattern. Mm -hmm. So uh, the 3D fabric paint glow in the dark is mostly for emphasizing and for drawing contours and for adding dots. But you can also use it for painting, but for that you need a little bit more of practice because this one is a quite dense paint and you just need a thin layer. And in case you are painting with it, so if you are not using it as a contour, uh, you need a white base for it. It's very important because on dark surfaces, the glow in the dark effect will not come out, so it won't be visible you will definitely need a white base for that. If you use it on a black surface, make sure that you use a thick layer. So you use it as a contour liner, for example. Now we are highlighting certain parts of the skull simply by painting it. But here you can see that we have this white base 
that I've just told you. Mm-hmm. And even uh, it works to add two layers. So when you add your first layer, you will see that the paint will be a little bit like have like a pastel color. And then if you add a second layer, you will have a more vivid color. But it is also important because when you will go with it into the dark, if you have two layers, the glow in the dark effect will be more intensive if you add two layers. So it's up to you what kind of effect you would like to reach. And now we are going to use the yellow one for adding some contours. If you have any questions, please let us know in the meantime. We are happy to answer. And we are going to continue the dotting around the nose part, or better to say, around the nose hole part. It's very easy to control how big dots you would like to make. So if you push a little bit more, you will have bigger dots. If you just push it slightly, gently, you will have smaller dots and the dots will keep it shaped very, very nicely. Mm. And you can also use these paints in a stencil as well. So here we have a nice stencil, which is having dots in it. And as the paint is very nice and very thick it's really easy to apply even in a little bit thicker stencil like this one that we are using at the moment and we add it just with the help of a palette knife really easy with a really very nice final result And of course, you can also combine these paints with other materials. For example, now we are going to add some contours, some black ones with the 3D decor pen. The 3D decor pen is also perfect to use on fabrics. As the final touches, we add the yellow dots around the black contours. Mm -hmm. 
Unfortunately, we won't be able to present you the final result in the dark because it's, it's really hard to show it to you. Uh, but we are going to upload some pictures where you will see it. And also in our upcoming video, you will see how the end result will look like in the dark. And, as, and what is also a nice trick that you can see that around the skull there is a mint color and if you add some of the either with a pale green or with a pale blue color of this 3d fabric paint that glows in the dark which doesn't have so it's a kind of translucent um, paint but if you add it on top of any colored paint then you won't see it when it's when it's under the light but when it goes into the dark it will glow. And with this you can very nicely highlight the whole skull pattern basically if you go around with this either the pale green or the pale blue 3D fabric paint that goes in the dark. And on the top we will, add, we will show you how to blend a little bit with the help of the colors. So on the top, the color will be a little bit more vivid. And as we go down, it will be more pale. So you just simply remove the paint from your brush when you are going down. So at the top, you add more of the paint. And as you go down, you remove the paint from your brush and just simply apply it and at the edges you just blend and this is how you can make very nice paler shades even with the neon colors And to finish it, again we draw a contour with, again, with the pink color. And that's it. A really, really, really cool piece for any kid or anyone. But when you go into the dark, it will glow nicely. So I hope you liked our presentation, which we basically finished. So if you have any questions, we are here to answer them. But of course you can ask later as well. So please ask and comment under this video. We will be happy to answer any of your questions. But if you don't have more at the moment, so we would like to thank you for your attention, for all of you, and see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.